that's what courage looks like. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be in front of 3,000 people. What it does mean is that you're allowing the, the power of the Holy Spirit to, to burn inside of your heart and to enter hostile situations. What do these hostile situations look like for you? It's not the yelling guy on the corner, although maybe sometimes it could be. But for Monday and Tuesday, for some of us, that's not what it's going to look like. It takes courage to not just tell the girl not to get an abortion. It takes courage to enter her life, right? It takes courage to not only say, you know what, you need to apologize to your spouse. It takes more courage to say, I see you're struggling. Can we meet you guys for dinner, me and my wife? Not that we know any more than you, but we want to enter your mess. That's courage. And yet we're so afraid to take those courageous steps and enter the messy, dirty places of people's lives. We, we rationalize, we, but in that rationalization, you need to consider and know that the Holy Spirit has indeed empowered you to make change in your families, change in your communities. Change will happen. And the Holy Spirit has infused all of us here, those that are in Christ, to make change He will give you courage. You can't muster it up. You have to make the call to get into the mess with people. You know, I I really think the dude that talked about this whole like coffee shop, like red cup thing with Starbucks, thought he was being courageous. What does the gospel have to do with the red Starbucks cup? I mean, I mean, when you read that stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, that's what they think we think is courage. And then it's placed on all of us. Yet it's far more courageous. Now, I don't know this dude's heart, but it's far more courageous for us to go to Starbucks, get a cup of coffee, and talk with someone about their mess and dig into life with them. Find out how can I help you. I see you crying the other day in the office. You know, I I serve Jesus. I serve a great God. And, you know, I'm not perfect, nor is my life easier. But how can I speak into your life? How can I share with you that Jesus really does love you? He really does care for you. So be prayerful, be wise, be honest, be respectful. Talk about Jesus.